What's up YouTube, Remix Serial here back with another video. Um, today, uh, as you can see by the title, I'm a little rough, I'm really tired. It's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I work nights. But um, I wanted to make this video ASAP because just about a week ago, I believe, or I found out last night that there's actually a CarPlay um, update for the PX6 um, Tesla style screen. And for me, I was having issues with my phone disconnecting while on the wired uh, connection. And that was giving me a lot of heartache, so, or headache, I should say. And so I started using the Bluetooth instead. But today I'm going to show you um, how to update it in your, in your car. Today I have the Mustang here. That's what it's installed in. But this works for any of those screens that they're installed in any car. They mostly work the same. I have the ZW Nav version, but if you have a Phoenix Automotive, and if you use the Z-Link, I believe it's called the Z-Link application, this should work. Um, so let me go ahead and roll the intro, and then I'll meet you in the car. Give me the green light like John Legend. I rolled in the sex, I'm a force to be reckoned with. Like Ralph, I'm wrecking shit. One day I'ma be on the jet with this. Where's Keisha, cause I'm heaven sent. I got power like a 50 cent. I'm more certified than a president. Man, I'm telling you, I'm big step and big flex. Goddamn, I'm feeling like Hercules. Niggas aren't saying I'm not from Earth. That nigga must be from Mercury. I'm the man with that plan. Next year, my fears gonna be on on demand. My shit stay crack, it's contraband. Only fans gon' understand, get a helping hand. I'm the main man, Batman, and you niggas robbing. Hey, they like like how is he winning the race that pace when he's only jogging? Hey, I used to flex in the charger, now I'm making a cut like a bar, but hey, my dreams get close, not far. They ain't trying to give me Okay, so I'm in the car, and before we get started on anything, I want to I just want to say that depending on what kind of screen you have, what firmware you're on, uh, what firmware the Z Link is on, you may be having or experiencing different issues. All I know is that via the Facebook group that I'm a part of, this update came out about a week ago. Now, the issues that I was having with my phone is that when on the wireless CarPlay, it would stay connected, it would work great. But when I was making a phone call, the audio would be delayed by about a second. And when I was playing music, the audio was delayed by about a second, which is really annoying and really unreliable for phone calls. Um, another issue that I was having is that when I connected my phone via the wire, via this cable connection, I have a cable going from right here to my phone. I believe it's like, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, right here. I would connect it and the audio would work fine as normal. But then after two or three minutes, the, the unit would freeze. Z-Link would freeze and I would not be able to connect my phone to CarPlay um, until I restart the entire car. Now, those issues have been, well, the, the, car, the wired CarPlay issue has been completely fixed for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's been completely fixed for me and I'm loving it so far. I was really close to buying the USB, it's like a hundred bucks. It's like a USB dongle. It's like a CarPlay alternative if you don't want to use the built-in one. I was just about to buy it and then I saw that they had this update. Now, if you're having other issues, like your phone isn't connecting to CarPlay at all, I'm not saying that this is going to 100% fix the issue. I'm just giving you guys my experience with how this update has affected me. I love it. I'm using CarPlay every day now and it starts on boot. But just again, I'm not responsible for, you know, if you install it incorrectly and you're your screen no longer works you know i'm just trying to help out people that are having a similar issue and just how to update the um the application okay with that long speech out of the way uh first you would want to make sure that your car has wi-fi on now i have a personal hotspot that gives me internet access right here in my glove box so i i do have the i do have internet access and then secondly you want to go to car auto and just go to your about section right here and just see what version of it you're on. Let me see if I can get that to focus. I believe the latest the latest update is 4.021. Um, before the update, I was on some old firmware, like I think it was like 3.01 or something like that. But this is the update. This is the version that you want to be on after the update. Um, I don't know if I don't know if it's worth checking, hitting the check for update button. But yeah, I think it says no matter what version you're on, I think it says latest version. Um, so I'm going to provide you guys with the link in the description to the Facebook group. And then through that link, you can click and it'll, it should direct you to the the APK, the APK file. Now that APK file, uh, you can click that. I recommend clicking the link through the Facebook on your, through Facebook on your screen. I had it saved here. Let me go ahead and put the camera down right here. I want you guys to see everything. Um, let's see. So yeah, I saved it. 
And so I just click here. And then here it is right here at the top. I'm gonna link that I'm gonna link this in the description. So find a way to send this to your tablet through email or whatever, or you can download it to a USB and then plug it in. But all you have to do is click here. And then you're gonna to wanna to click, I know it's in the language that we don't understand, but you wanna click this button right here, click download. And click it again. There we go. It's gonna take you to the browser. And then you just wanna download it to your downloads folder. And then you're gonna you're going to want to run it. I'll just I'll do it for the video's sake. I already have it, so I'm gonna download it anyway. Now, depending, I have the hotspot, so it's going to be very, uh, pretty quick. But um, if you are going to be using your, your phone hotspot, or if you're going to be using, maybe you're, drunk, you're going to try to connect to your house Wi-Fi from your garage or whatever, it may take a little bit longer. And if it does, I recommend you starting the car because you can kill your battery um, work being on this tablet without the car running. This battery will drain your battery about in about, I don't know, I think about 30 minutes. Um, so, yeah. So, I just downloaded it. Uh, let me see if I can, I had the link open, um, with my downloads. Yep. It's right here. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to hit install right here on the bottom right hand corner. And it takes like five seconds and then that should be it. Uh, if I, if I remember correctly, let me see. Yep. App installed. And then you just click open. And then you can, from here you can go to, yep. Act successful activation, which is cool. Then you want to go to about. And then you want to just double check your um, your APK version. Like I mentioned, I'm going to link the Facebook group down below. And I'm also going to link the application down below as well for the update. Um, I think it's really important that you guys join that group. Um, there's a lot of information on there if you're having a sound issue or if you're having troubles connecting to the CarPlay or you're having problems with your navigation. Um, there's also custom firmware out there that you can get by, I believe there's a guy named Sergi or someone like that that's overseas. He does really great work. I didn't get his custom firmware. I didn't really need it. But yeah, um, this video, I think it's really important for comments. So I highly recommend you guys post down what issue you were having before you did the update. And if this update has fixed that issue for you, I'm going to leave the leave this right here so you can see the version. But, um, you know... If this update has worked for you, what issue did it fix? So other people can kind of go off of your um, your experience and see if they can get, um, you know, a little bit of information. And then if you guys can help each other on the comments, that'd be really helpful for everyone else. But for me, this, help, this helped and fix my issue. Um, actually, let me see if I can plug in my phone and show you that my CarPlay works. Let's see, got the cable right here. The wi As you can see, the Wi-Fi is on. If you don't know, a wireless CarPlay does not work while you're on a wireless network. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my phone. See what happens here connecting and there boom and as you can see um it's quick and it works perfectly fine so yeah um it works for me and no problems and i use this every day now so go ahead and leave your comments down below help each other out be nice to each other um and as always stay positive oh and one more thing i do post content on this tesla screen often it, whenever I get a bug and I, and I can find a fix for it, I will post an update for it alongside my, my uh, car content. I do have a Corvette over there. Let me see if I can flip the camera. I do have a Corvette over there, and this is a uh, custom Mustang. But alongside that content, I will post content on this screen if I do encounter any problems. So if I will, when I get any updates, I will let you guys know. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Stay positive. Go ahead and be a love positive I, I rehearse my songs every day, it's so repetitive I don't battle rap, but I ain't gon' lie, I am competitive I am the competition, I follow my intuition Back then, all I did was wishing, that time is really ticking I saw that sack, you know a nigga got to run it I, I, I am the king, and your bitch kingdom